All right, the finals. Oops, did I keep this already? No, we got a mulligan this, I think. Three off-color spells. Good distribution, wrong colors, though. I think we'll have to mulligan that. I didn't have to, but I'm not happy with it. This one, I really don't want to keep either. Vanquisher's Banner is the strongest card in our deck, but one lander on the draw plus a scry. If we didn't have two four drops, I'd really strongly consider it. I, you know what? I think I'm going to risk it anyway. I feel like I'm just going to straight lose if I go to five. Your chances of winning on a multi five are just so incredibly low that I would rather just, like this, just draw lands into Vanquisher's Banner and then win. I definitely don't want to trade my Scoundrel for that. So I guess we can Depths of Desire whatever they play next turn, maybe? Hmm. I don't really want to Depths either of those creatures, unfortunately. May actually have to depths the Voracious Vampire, believe it or not. Because then I can at least play Banner next turn. Alright. So, alright. We're going to depths the Vampire and attack. And then play Banner next turn into Rig Hauler, probably. They left open the dreaded Vampire Zeal mana or Moment of Triumph, but I still think we attack. Well, alright. Play the banner and attack. I think the thing is, I need to get rid of Vampire Zeal or Moment of Triumph anyway. So it seems okay here, because I don't want to lose my Brawler to that. That's actually okay too, I guess. I mean, it turns off our Rig Hauler for now, but I think we just do it. Maybe my opponent only has two types of spells in their deck. That'd be interesting. It's just Dusk Legion Zealots and Voracious Vampires. Not the worst archetype, actually. Alright. Ah, uh, my opponent's doing the classic Voracious Vampire Dusk Legion Zealot deck. Alright, let's play this. Draw a card. Well, we got Rig Haulers for days. Hopefully our opponent does not have removal. If they do, that could spell some trouble. I think there's a good chance they do. Four cards in hand, six lands. Well, actually, I mean, as devastatingly good as that is, it could have been way worse. I may actually, believe it or not, bounce the Champion of Dusk and let them draw another four cards and lose another four life. As crazy as that sounds. Yeah, I think we just attack here. I think they take it anyway, but we're going to bounce their Champion. If they want to replay it and lose more life, I guess that's okay, too. Mm, I guess that's okay. So we'll kill two other things. Um...
Well, I guess I can't do much about that. So we'll play the rig hauler and bounce the champion. This does let them draw more cards, but it also makes them lose life, which seems like an actual avenue to winning. I mean, they already have eight cards in hand anyway, so them losing three more life and drawing three more, at this point I have a feeling they probably have everything. So I guess we can play Sailor of Means into Walk the Plank. Cutlass. Huh. Well, this brings us into dark nourishment range, but obviously we can't do anything about that. Conquistador. So we have six lands. Uh, which means we can do this. We can do two creatures. So let's just swing with the rig hauler. Maybe they block with both, that'd be cool. No. Alright, well, in that case, we play the rig hauler. Guess we don't really want to bounce the voracious vampire, though. Probably just bounce the conquistador, I guess, then. I probably should have played the Navigator first. Forgot that I had Vanquisher's Banner, to be honest. Uh, I wish I could bounce this Cutlass. Alright. Bounce the Conquistador. And then we'll play a Navigator. And draw some more cards. And pass. So let's see if they just go removal, removal, win. Removal removal wind does it. I mean there's dark nourishment, there's I don't know what else, but there's a lot of things that lose us the game here. And they have six cards in hand in nine mana, <laughs> which is a lot. That is a lot.
cover on the Zealot. Okay, so we even get to take two turns? That's pretty nuts. But, well, that is forcing us to block. Question is, what do I want to die? I, mean, I kind of want to take an extra turn, but at the same time... I mean, my mana is going to be pretty occupied, and these rig haulers are each lethal, so they at least have to be blocked. And then I have five lands, so I can't really currently play a ton of things. I can't decide what's more important. I feel like taking an extra turn when in doubt is probably the best, so, alright. Six lands, we can just start. I mean, that soul, the rapids, would be lethal if it wasn't for that pesky pirate's cutlass. Although, then I can just take an extra turn next turn. That might be the ticket to victory here. I just play Soul of the Rapids and pass. Alright. So, definitely need to take care of that revenant somehow. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Maybe we'll draw into it here. So, I have a water knot, so we don't want to tap blue. Let's play the border. Um, I have five attackers. I guess we just swing with the rig hauler.
Probably the Solar Rapids too, huh? I mean, they probably are going to attack with the Revenant. And I don't want them to be able to combat trick us. Although they left it up anyway if they have Vampire Zeal. I can take another turn though too, which is relevant. That is relevant. I may just want to take an extra turn. So, all right, let's just attack with these two then. So let's play the border to draw. Play the land. You can still draw walk the plank. Oh no, we already played walk the plank, never mind. Is there anything I could draw that matters here? I guess not. So if I attack with all four, they block there, block there, block there. They still die. So I attack with everything and they have to block everything. Is that right? You block. Block biggest guy, block biggest guy. I say block biggest guy, block biggest guy. Don't block, they die. If they take two guys they die and they only have three blockers so we do attack with everything block well that brings them to five life which is the minimum of two guys hit so they have to block all three guys because they can't allow two guys to hit okay sounds good we swing with everything and this way the only thing that gets us is another sheltering light but it's more likely a well, if it was dealt damage, then all right. we're just... Oh, I see. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Guess we just swing with these two. No, we died of the Revenant. I guess I needed to cast Curious Obsession. Well, I guess we can attack with these two. I don't say they remove something. They're still going to just have some X1s. I block Flyer, plus I'll have... They have to block the Fathom Fleet, dude. All right, we'll attack like this, and then I guess we'll play the Dead Eye Tormentor. So I guess I can. I guess we play the Curious Obsession in case they have, like, Golden Demise. It's the only thing I can think of. That way we don't just straight die to Golden Demise.
So they have at least three conquistadors in their deck, is that right? Okay. So this forces a block, which is fine, I guess. I actually want to keep it back, which might actually make sense. It does give us an opportunity to draw something we need, though. Let's play... I think we actually play the Cutthroat, trying to get that water knot. May have wanted to play the Evolving Wilds first. To deck thin. Uh, so, they have five blockers for a bunch of my attackers. We probably are just going to get in there with... If I get in with four dudes... And then I play a Scoundrel, that leaves me three blockers. That's probably a bit too dangerous. We'll probably just get in with these. These, But each of these has to... I guess all four of these have to be blocked. But the thing is, they can gain four? Hmm. And then I'd be left, they have one card left in hand. So I swing with all these, they all have to be blocked. But the thing is, that's not true. They could just block there and go to three and then block two more. They still have to block a lot of things, though. And then, let's say they just block one dude, they go back up to three... They, st they still have to block multiple things, so regardless, it, it looks okay. Like, at least two of their dudes are going to die. That leaves me with three blockers for three dudes, even if they have removal. We don't die, I don't think. Yeah, I think we smash with all these, and then we just follow up with a wanted scoundrel. And we know the last card in their hand is the one where they can draw cards. So we're not really concerned about that. Play the scoundrel. I should have I forgot that I could play Olean this turn. Oh no, dark nourishment. Alright, I gotta stay alive. We know what their last card is. I don't know what they could draw, though, that would be able to deal with my hexproof, because we're out of golden sun range, too. Do they not have any removal that we've seen? That makes the Curious Obsession seem a lot better. Obviously, I have to block. Kind of have to play that. Well, we got there. Eat the vampires, which is good. So they have Squire's Devotion, which we can... do. Our bounce is going to be good against that, at least. Um, 
like I said, they didn't really show us any removal at all, so I think our curious obsessions are going to be good, probably. Um, I don't think we need to bring in a third, though. Castaway is a decent blocker. They didn't show us a bunch of skies, either. They have the Vampire Revenant, but we don't really care too much about that. I think we probably stick to the same plan here. I mean, Vanquisher's banner is just incredibly good. We won on the mulligan there, too, just because banner is that nuts if it goes unchecked. All right, this is a keep. It's actually a good hand. We get to go turn two scoundrel, turn three obsession, which is pretty nuts, especially if they do not have the removal that we think they don't have. So we start her off with the old island for F6 value. And scoundrel into obsession. Mm, we can actually do the blight keeper now if we want. But I think we do scoundrel. No black mana. Very relevant. Conquistador. Alright. So we may just... I guess if we draw blue mana we can... No, we still can't. So... That would be really surprising if they attacked there. It would be awesome, but it would be surprising. All right, let's play the Blight Keeper. And remember, we can't play Obsession or we have to discard it. So let's just play Blight Keeper and pass. And the goal here being two Curious Obsessions next turn. That would be ideal. That would be sweet. That would get us around Slash of Talons, too, which would be nice. I wouldn't complain about that. No black mana. Very relevant. Alright, so this is where we really just want to rip a blue mana. Just curiously obsess over what our opponent's got. Okay, so let's obsess anyway. See if we can get that land. Yes, definitely. Give me a land, too. No? All right. No land yet. I found the black mana. Deacon is uh, maybe a little intimidating. If I had another blue mana, this wouldn't really be a big deal. Oh, that's unexpected, huh? Yeah, I think we're going to take seven. Basically, we're hoping to rip the good stuff here. There it is. So now we can... Hmm. We have sea legs as well. We can try and profitably use sea legs. That's probably a good idea. We can attack with both. All right, let's attack with both. Mm. 
Is it because I'm... This isn't untapping. That's right. Okay. So we're just going to attack with both. I'm okay with that, actually. And then we... I think just... Well, let's draw our card, I guess. Navigator. So we can play a castaway and then leave up a sea legs. Which does actually make some sense. Because we can cast it on our own guy and block their dude. Would have been smarter on the deacon, because then the deacon can just pump itself. Um, oh, that's interesting. Okay. They might be attacking with the deacon too, though, I guess, huh? Yeah, that kind of makes sense. So, I guess we block the Conquistador. And then, Sea Legs, our guy. Because he's a pirate. So we'll kill it. We go to 7, though, which is fine. Okay, so we have our 4th land, so we can... Get in with the Blight Keeper. Leave up Depths. So we can play Depths plus a 2-drop. Hmm. I'm actually unsure on that one. Huh. I guess it depends on what they... I'll put the deacon though. Can't really attack with everything either. But once again, this is not untapping, so I could theoretically attack with a blight keeper and a scoundrel. And they maybe just block with the zealot. And that leaves me with one blocker and them with three attackers. Or maybe they don't block at all. Which is probably still okay. Because I have the Depths. If I'm just casting Depths, then maybe we just obsess now. I mean, I can also Curious Obsess Scoundrel. Which might just make sense. But I want to draw two cards. Alright, we're going to Obsess here. We're going to attack with both of these. Draw our two cards. Walk the plank, which I cannot cast. Another option is to... So I can leave up Depths, or I can play my Fathom Fleet Border and get another creature on the board. We probably just want a Depths, though. Still don't even have the second black, is that right? Jeez. All the zealots. Uh, 
That's fine, so... I think the thing is, though... I think it's in our best interest to let that resolve. I know it gets them a 1-1, one -one, but uh, it's tough. Because otherwise they're going to be able to attack with the deacon. And we have to chump. So I think we do actually have to let that resolve. Which I admit I'm not thrilled about, but like I said, the problem is... The problem is basically... If I don't, they can pump their deacon and attack. And they may be able to do that anyway. We're going to see if they do. Yeah, they they did what we wanted them to do, which is good. They knew they needed the life, too. So that's pretty cool. We're going to bounce it. Which is really good. And I guess now we could technically attack with our castaway, too, which is cool. Dark Nourishment, huh? Can I kill you yet? Jeez. I could technically... So I could Dark Nourishment the Deacon, just swing team. only because I don't quite have enough for lethal otherwise. This allows this to untap. Does that worry me? They could afford to take five, I guess. Maybe I'm supposed to just leave these back. I don't want this to untap, but I'm not really in immediate danger, and this does... It forces them to block the Scoundrel, which they'll throw the Vampire in front of. But then they probably won't do anything about the, this. So i probably leave this back, attack with these two. That seems fine, actually. And we draw two cards, too, which is kind of crazy. I've used a lot of time. I basically have to win this game, too. I was trying to navigate my decision-making in an intelligent manner, but it was difficult. I mean, I'm at a fairly safe life total, I would say, but I probably just have six and decide blockers. That's all I have to worry about. Oh, yeah. I guess that technically does work. Guy's gonna untap. We're just drawing so many cards. I mean, that's a good thing, but yeah. Okay, so they can get rid of our walk the plank, I guess. That's fine. So we probably just start with the attack with the Blight Keeper to draw our two cards to see what we best do after that. I'm assuming they're just going to take walk the plank there. No, they took time stream navigator, I guess, which is fine too. Oh, that's a great draw. Okay, so let's just 
Smash with Blight Keeper. Draw our cards. Multiple rig haulers is cool, but let's just play a rig hauler to bounce your token. And then we'll play a dinosaur hunter and pass. Yeah, that's not really a big deal. I guess you don't have a ton of options at your disposal, so we'll block like this and then I guess this. All right, well, got the draft, cool. Uh, blue, black, nothing fancy. Vanquisher's banner is nuts, dot deck. Hope you enjoyed it. Curious Obsession played well. Finally, we at least got to abuse it against the deck, basically where it's prime, which is against a deck that really doesn't have much removal or interaction. So that was sick. How many cards did we draw that game? Probably like seven or eight, something absurd like that. So hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back for more. We'll see you then.